action. Action. So guys, welcome back to the Hustling Horsepower YouTube channel. Uh, we've been out of the YouTube game for a couple weeks now. So, uh, as most of y'all know, uh, I'll just get into it, I guess. Uh, as most of y'all know, I have uh, Crohn's disease and uh, pretty severe ulcerative colitis. Uh, for those of you that don't know about that, um, it's basically like having um, food poisoning and like the flu 24 seven, like basically all your life, basically. Um, and I've been dealing with that disease for about 10 years now. Of course, there's days that are better than others. And uh, in some screwed up fashion, you kind of just learn to deal with it. Um, that's all you can do. Otherwise, you're just stuck on a couch. And a lot of people that have this disease um, basically just do that. They don't, they don't leave their homes. They just, because it is, uh, there's a lot of inconveniences to it. Your body gets real, really worn down and really weak. Uh, really easy your immune system's um, very uh, suppressed and um, just physical weak just tired all the time so on and so forth but um, I've had quite a bit of willpower the last 10 years doing this stuff uh, just because I'm a pretty uh, self-motivated individual but uh, as far as the health goes the last couple weeks it went down a little bit faster um, and a little bit sooner than it normally does normally I don't get sick sick until like all the time and uh and august yeah and august i started like not doing so well but uh i guess getting into it um we're more than likely going to call it a season uh with straight gangster here um crohn's disease is a large large aspect of that another aspect is um the parts of the new motor uh didn't necessarily pan pan out uh aren't up to snuff, okay? I'm not gonna make, well, I guess I'll just get into it. So uh, we had pretty good intentions of uh, racing August, September, October, and then November is really start figuring out uh, what I could do long-term to fight this disease in a different fashion than we have been, whether it's the different medications I've been on or this or that, or if I had to go and do some more um, just go for the surgery at this time, which is uh, pretty, pretty likely. Um, we got a couple of meetings coming up in the next uh, week or two uh, with a couple of different doctors and stuff like that to see if we're gonna go the route of surgery. If that's the case, I'm gonna be out of the game for probably at least a three month recovery time. So um, we're gonna put the prison bus up for sale. Um, spare parts are gonna be up for sale. Uh, merchandise is going to be discounted. We just went and brought the prison bus uh, back up here to brought back the prison bus up here to New York, so we have all the merchandise on hand: uh, hats, hoodies, T-shirts, posters, um, tumblers, um, all the rest of that stuff. Anything else you could think of? No, that's all I have. And then, um, so we all have all that on hand for pretty quick uh, shipping and turnaround times. Um, what else? Well, we're going to have some parts listed for sale. Um, just to help uh, because with the merchandise, we ordered a whole lot of merchandise early August. We received that merchandise. End of July, early August, we received that merchandise for um, a couple of the big races that we were planning on racing in September, uh, September on October, August, September, October. We had a couple of really big races uh, lined up that, you know, we probably would have sold quite a bit of merchandise in. So we're going to do a discount on hustlinghorsepower.com for the merchandise to help liquidate some of that stuff to get us through uh, this quote unquote downtime. Um, also for this downtime, I'm going to need a little bit of information on what we could do for YouTube videos um, while we don't have a car in the game, I guess you could say. So uh, we were trying to get the new motor together up until about two weeks ago. Probably about two weeks ago. I guess tomorrow's Friday, so yeah. Yeah, about two weeks ago. So um, this is the billet crank that I bought for that motor. And uh, you can see, so uh, we'll turn this on. I 
I should have prepared this preset. So this is the problem that we ran into. This is the problem that we ran into. One of them. All right. So 2.200 is standard big block Chevy uh, rod journal. Uh, mains are, of course, all the ones in line. Rod journals are the ones that are offset. Okay. You hear that? Hang on. Yeah. Okay. It's got a small block, which means it's got a small block rod journal in it. Um, that is not a bad thing. They didn't, I've had a lot of people saying this and that, blah, 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 blah. Guys, they didn't adjust the stroke by doing all the rod, by moving uh, small and making the rod journal smaller. They didn't do an offset, offset grind or anything like that on it. It is just a small block Chevy rod journal. They do that for high RPM al applications, probably for the bob weight and stuff like that. Um, so, we had the crankshaft that I, I pulled the crankshaft out of the motor. We haven't, we filmed it all. I haven't made the video yet, but um, we pulled it. So I pulled this crankshaft out and put the crankshaft in the motor that we balanced the motor to. Um, that is just a good factory cross-drilled nitrated crankshaft. Nothing special. Um, it was just gonna be a backup crankshaft, but that has the factory rod journal for, you know, our billet, our billet rods and stuff like that, okay? Of course, this is, uh, so if we go to 100 here, well, we'll measure this, right? This is 2327, all right? It's about a 60,000 sparing clearance times two would put us about, you know, to 200. So, uh, plus oil clearances. So that's the size of this. So this sucker don't work on there. Another problem that I found is that uh, the machine shop ordered up these wrist pins here. I'll walk it over here. These wrist pins here, the thickness is the thickness of this wrist pin here, okay, is dinky, like small. So you can see it right here. I can they see that there? Okay, that's a two hundred thousandths wrist pin. Okay, that is good in my opinion for about. 15, 1600 horsepower. Guys, I'm not putting this new motor together for to make 1500 horses. It ain't like that, ain't it? So I put the other, the factory crankshaft in the motor, and I was like, okay, I'll make that one compromise just to get us through a couple races. And then I started putting the rings on the pistons after I file fit them all, and we we're gonna start slamming them in the holes. I looked at the wrist pin, and I was like, this ain't the right wrist pin. When I put the when I put the spiral locks on the wrist pin and really got to see like really looked at the center of the hole, I was like, these wrist pins look freaking thin. And um in comparison, right? Um they should be about fifty thousandths thicker. Uh they should be at least a two hundred fifty thousandths wall pin, in my opinion. Uh maybe even two eighty or so. So uh where does that put us with the new motor? Um, this is a billet crankshaft. It's a pretty solid piece. I ordered pistons. They're all brand new, even though I did sand them and stuff like that to get all the high edges off of them so they don't look brand, brand new. Um, we're probably going to go with a 990 pin, 6535 rod, um, 2100 rod journal aluminum uh, rod so we can run this good crank and the crank that's in the motor right now we'll just i don't know not scrap it but i don't know scrap the idea scrap the idea maybe put these pistons with that crank or sorry these rods with that crank and another set of pistons just in a steel motor just as a absolute backup where i can throw it in there just just so it can get us to a race until we get the twin to this motor done so uh, that's probably what we're gonna do there. These billet rods are pretty good. It's not worth selling stuff right now. People people don't wanna pay, people don't wanna buy stuff. So we'll probably just get another 9.8 deck big block Chevy, just fill it and make a, a motor that we can throw in the car just for um, when push comes to shove. So that's as far as that goes. Old motor? We dropped that off at Ross Racing Engines up in Ohio. Uh, he believes he had 
uh, or has a, at least it has access to a company that can make sleeves pretty dang quickly. Um, I don't know, it does take some work because it needs multiple sleeves when we broke the rod at Dig or Die back in early August. So um, we got the other motor over here that's a borrowed motor, but it just, it's a lot of work for one person and uh, one person that's operating at, you know, I consider myself less than 50% right now, probably considerably less than 50% right now. Um, it just ain't worth it. So we're gonna try to get all of our ducks in a row. Um, whenever that uh, becomes available or whatever, the, whenever we piece that stuff all together, then we'll come back out and uh, give it the best run of the money. So we should have our old motor back together by then, have the new motor in the car, rip running ready to go with the 88s on the car and be in, in be in pretty good shape work. So we'll have a spare motor and stuff like that. And then um, we'll see where things take us. Um, we'll probably come spectate at War in the Woods. Um, if they pull off a couple miracles, maybe I'll feel up to the task sometime in the next week and a half or so to reassemble the old motor and throw it in the car. Um, assembling a motor is not all that much work. Um, especially a motor that's already been done together. This new motor, it's, it, it's a lot more um, detail oriented. There's a whole lot more um, work that has to go in to putting a brand new build together. So uh, that just takes, that takes a lot. So uh, we could throw that other motor back together and I could assemble that motor in a day. We could have it in the car and running in probably a day and a half. So um, we might just do that if if pieces fall together, but more than likely, um, we're gonna be calling it a season, try to get my health issues back in line, and uh, play it by ear. So guys, give us some ideas on what we need to do for some YouTube videos and stuff like that in the meantime, and um, hustlinghorsepower.com for merchandise, and of course, me, Maddie, MVP, and Barkley Sexy Rexy over there. I appreciate the support, guys. Thank you, and uh, we'll all see you soon.